In this video, I'm going to be going over how to factor trinomials um, when there is a coefficient in front. Uh, we call this factoring using the long key method. So take a look over here. We had this in the last video. It's ax squared plus bx plus c. But here, this is when a is not equal to 1. So take a look over here. You see that our value of a is 3. And it, so not 1. Down here again, a is 6. And then in part c, you can see a is 12 here. This is another special one. So now let's take a look at part a. 3x squared plus 14x plus 8. Our first step in this is to take a look and look for a GCF. So when I look at the polynomial in A, 3, 14, and 8, those don't have any common factors. So there is no GCF with the numbers, and I see this one has an x squared, this one has an x, but since this one doesn't have an x term, we can't take an x out. So we know that we don't have a GCF, so we went ahead and took care of step 1. Step 2 is just like short key method, we are going to multiply A by C to get our key number. So 3 times 8, our key number is going to be a positive 24. And now we're going to look for factors of 24 that add to 14. I'm only going to do the positive list of factors because we are looking for a positive number. So our factors of 24 are 24 and 1. 12 and 2, um, 8 and 3, 6 and 4, and I think it's that's it, right? So now let's go ahead and take a look and let's see what these add to. 24 plus 1 is 25, 12 plus 2 is 14, so we know that our factors that add to our middle term are going to be 12 and 2. Now this is where this process differentiates a little bit from the quick key method. Normally when we had the quick key method, uh, we would just break this up into these two factors. But when you have a number in front of your x squared term that is not 1, we're going to have to do what's called factor by grouping. So your fourth step is we are going to break our middle term 14x up into 12x plus 2x. So now I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this over here. So we'll bring this down here. 3x squared plus 14x plus 8. And I'm going to now move over here so we can just go ahead and take a look at this problem. So it says to break up our middle term into the factors from step 3. What were the factors in step 3? 12 and 2. So we are going to break this middle term up, and this is going to become... 3x squared stays the same, and we break this 14x up into a positive 12x and a positive 2x, because those were the factors that we found up here. And then we still have the plus 8 at the end. And now finally, we're ready to do our final step here, which is factor by grouping. The reason I broke this up into these two uh, the sum of these two is because I'm going to group these first two terms together, and I'm going to group the second two terms together, and then we're going to do what's called factor by grouping. So take a look at the first two terms, 3x squared and 12x. What do those things have in common? Those have a greatest common factor of 3 x, right? So again, that's like when I factor, that's like dividing each of these terms by 3x. What's left in there? 3x squared divided by 3x is an x, and then 12 divided by 3 is a positive 4, and you can see that these x's are going to cancel out over here. I'm going to go ahead and close my parentheses and take a look over here at the second grouping. A 2x and an 8, what do those have in common? I can take out a factor of positive 2. Please be careful. Make sure you're writing the sign out front. That's going to matter a lot for the next step. And now we open our grouping, take a 2 out of each of these. You can see that the 2s are going to cancel out in this first term, and I'm just going to be left with an x. 8 divided by 2 is a positive 4. <laughs> Finally, you go ahead and take a look at these two factors. You see that we have this factor, and this has a factor of x plus 4 in common, and we have this over here, and that has an x plus 4 in common. So now what we do is we are going to factor that x plus 4 out. So I'm going to take that x plus 4 out of each of these. So I write that out front. Just like what I did up here, whenever I take something out, I divide it, right? So I'm going to divide this by x plus 4. 
and I'm also going to divide this term over here by x plus 4. And what do I have left in the parentheses down here? Well, you can see these x plus 4s are going to ca cancel, and I'm just going to be left with this term 3x. And over here, you're going to see, the again, the x plus 4s are going to cancel over here, and we are just left with a 2, a positive 2. And I know that was a pretty long-winded process, but you can see we got this polynomial factored. So I'm going to go back up here, and I am going to write the answer that we got down here. So our factored trinomial would be x plus 4 and 3x plus 2. Now you could have this in a different order, but uh, you need to have the same numbers and the same signs inside this factor. You can go ahead and FOIL it out to make sure we got what we started with. I'm not going to do that in this video because I'm sure this is going to be long enough, but if you do practice that, hopefully if you FOIL this, you should end up back where you started with.